Hello guys, this is Abhishek Kumar Shaw and we are back with a new topic on aptitude exams. So today our topic is to find the number of trailing zeros in n factorial. Now the number of trailing zeros means the, the zero, number of zeros which are uh, coming at the end of the n factorial value. For example, 5 factorial, the value is 120. Since there is one zero, so there is one, uh, one zero at the end of the value of 5 factorial we can say there is one number of trailing zeros in 5 factorial value. Now if you are given something like this 2720 factorial you cannot calculate the factorial value and then calculate how many number of trailing zeros are there. It is not possible, right? So what we need to do is we need to find a shortcut method to do it. And the shortcut method is as the number of trailing zeros in n factorial is n divided by 5 to the power 1 plus n divided by 5 square plus n divided by 5 cube and so on till you are getting a quotient which is greater than 1. Once you start getting a quotient which is less than 1 you just need to discard, discard those terms. You cannot, you should not consider those terms. So let us now consider for this 2720 factorial value. If we do it 2720 by 5 to the power 1 plus 2720 by 5 to the power 2 plus 2720 by 5 to the power 3 plus 2720 by 5 to the power 4 plus 2720 by 5 to the power 5 now 5 to the power 5 the value is 3125 which is greater than 2720 so when you divide 2720 by 5 to the power 5 you will always get a quotient which is less than 1 so you cannot so you should not consider this term because it, the quotient is less than 1 so you just need to cut this and you need, just need to stop this series here you don't need to continue it any further because the rest of the uh, terms also you will get the quotient as less than 1 so you just need to stop only consider those which where the quotient is greater than 1 now here 2720 if you divide by 5 to the power of 1 you will get the value as 544 the quotient is 544. Now if you divide 2720 by 5 square which is nothing but 25, you will get the quotient as 108. You will get some remainder but the remainder is not of significance. You don't need to consider the remainder, you just need to consider the quotient. The remainder is not of much significance. Whatever the remainder is, just leave it. Only concentrate on the quotient. Now 2720 divided by 5 to the power 3 which is nothing but 125, you will get the value, as, uh, the quotient as 21. Remainder which is not important, just leave it. 2720 divided by 5 to the power 4 which is which you will get as uh, 4 okay here also you will get might get some remainder but you don't need to consider the remainder just concentrate on the quotient now if, if you just add this 5 4 4 plus 8 12 12 1 13 13 and 4 17 7 carry 1 4 1 5 5 plus 0 is 0 5 2 7 and 5 hundred is 5 plus 1 6 so you, if you add this you get 677 so there are 677 number of trailing zeros in 6 number of tra 77 trailing zeros in the value of 2720 factorial so this is how you can find out so once again let's just summarize this we found that the uh, formula for finding the number of trailing zeros in n factorial is n divided by 5 to the power 1 plus n divided by 5 to the power 2 plus n divided by 5 to the power 3 and you need to just continue it till you are getting the quotient which is greater than 1 once you start getting the quotient less than 1 you just need to discard those, discard those terms you do not need to consider those so for finding out 2720 factorial how many trailing zeros are there we divided by 2720 by 5 to the power 1 then 2720 by 5, 5 square and continue it now once uh, we divided 2720 by 5 to the power 5 which is nothing but 3125 we will get a quotient which is less than 1. So we should discard this term and the rest of the terms will also be less than 1 so we need to discuss those. We only need to consider those terms where we get the quotient as greater than 1. Okay. So here till here we are getting the quotient as greater than 1 so we will consider it up to this term and the rest of the term we will just discard it. Now here. If you divide 2720 by 5 to the power 1, we will get the quotient as 544. Okay. 2720 if you divide it by 5 square which is nothing but 25, we will get the quotient as 108. You might get some remainder but the remainder is of not of much significance, you just need to 
uh, forget the remainder you don't consider that just consider the quotient you need the only the quotient 2720 by 5 cube if you do it you will get the quotient as 21 remainder might be there but you don't need to consider the remainder similarly if you divide this you will get the value 4 you just need to then add it once you add it you the uh, value which will come will be the your answer of the number of trailing zeros in 2720 if we added we get it as 4 plus 8 12 12 1 13 plus 4 17 7 carry 1 4 1 5 5 plus 0 0 5 1 2 7 7 and 5 plus 1 6 so 6 no, 177 number of trailing zeros in n vectorial so this is how we do it hope you enjoyed my video guys if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe this video thank you